From Victim to Victor, The Detox Path Are you a victim? You can be completely honest. I know that in our society, it's not exactly a good thing when people come out and say that they feel like they're victims. But if you want to fully detoxify from all the pollutants in your life, you have to come clean. You have to be authentic and true to yourself. If none of this makes sense, ask yourself the following questions. If you answer yes to at least two of these, then chances are high that you are a victim or at least you consider yourself one. Do you think you're entitled to life being fair? Does it seem like everybody misunderstands you? Does it seem like no matter how hard you try, things just don't work out because you're unlucky? Does it seem like people are conspiring against you or just don't like you? Does it appear that you don't have the skills you need to get ahead? Are other people to blame for your childhood? Are other people to blame because you're not happy today? Is your boss holding you down by paying you less than you are worth? Do people in your relationships have a tough time discovering the real you? If at least two of these questions ring true to you or apply to you, chances are you are a victim or you think you are a victim. Claim your victim status. It's very hard to solve a problem if you believe you don't have one. For example, it's very hard to get an alcoholic to stop drinking if they don't think they're an alcoholic. If they have no problems with how much they drink and what they drink, then they're not going to get any better. There's no problem to solve. The same analysis applies to your self-victimization. If you think you're like a victim, then now is the time to get to that moment of truth. You have to be clear with yourself. This means you have to be completely honest with yourself. At this point, you may be working with the assumption that you are some sort of victim. Ask yourself, am I really a victim or am I just acting like one? Do I think like one? Do I understand the world like a victim? Please understand that this is not blame finding. I'm not trying to make you feel bad about yourself or put you on the spot. But until and unless you can accept the fact that you've been playing the victim game or whipping out the victim card at every opportunity, things are not going to change. Your life is definitely not going to change if you keep this up. Own up to this. Is this what you're doing? Do you see yourself as some sort of victim? Do you always see yourself as the underdog? Do you see yourself as the person that things are happening to instead of the person who is actually making things happen? You have to be completely clear here because if there's any kind of victimization, you have to look at it straight in the eye and accept that this is happening. If you are in any kind of state of denial, progress is impossible. How can there be progress when you deny that there's even a problem in the first place? You won't be able to fix what you need to fix. Detox step number one. Stop blaming other people in situations beyond your control. When you blame other people, you're actually handing power over your life to those people. Think about it. This logically makes sense. Since you say that they caused your problem, then this automatically means they will have the solution. You've spent all this time blaming other people and unwittingly took all the power to change your circumstances from your hands and placed it in their hands. Obviously, this is not empowering. This is not helping things. This is only going to make your life worse and worse. Sure, it feels good because you have some sort of emotional release. Who doesn't feel good when the weight of responsibility is lifted off their shoulders? When you feel like you're a victim, you don't have to change. Other people have to change. Doesn't that feel good? But the problem is you pay a very big price for that sense of emotional release or even your sense of vindication. That sense of vindication you feel when you blame other people, like your father abusing you or your mother making you feel like garbage, comes at a very high price because you rob yourself of the power to make something out of yourself. Of course, most people don't phrase things this way. But in operational terms, psychologically, this is the effect. Here's the truth. The people you're constantly blaming, they're gone. Seriously, they're living their lives. Maybe they have new families. Perhaps they've moved on. As traumatic as that experience may have been for both of you. They're not in any way, shape, or form feeling your anger, hate, and resentment. The only person taking the brunt of all that emotional damage is you. Stop beating yourself up. Stop rehashing that very painful image of a traumatic past. Nobody's being helped by this. Take ownership today. Take ownership of your life. I know this is easier said than done, but you have to do it. Not your father, who was emotionally absent. Not your mother, who may have been domineering. Not your ex-boyfriend, who may have screwed with your head. Not your girlfriend, who may have betrayed you. But you. Say to yourself, yes, I've lived my life as a victim. For all this time, I've blamed other people. Now, I'm going to stop blaming others. Instead, I'm going to say it's my fault. It's my responsibility. I own this. You have to make yourself say these, and you have to mean it. Until you are able to say that you totally own your life and you made everything in it happen or you've let it happen, nothing's going to change. 
Please understand that everything that happens to your life was either chosen by you or you let it happen. Why? Because you could always control how you respond. As you go through this training, a bolt of lightning might hit you. Obviously, you didn't cause it. But I can guarantee you that you have total control about how you respond to that unfortunate circumstance. Retake that sense of ownership you have over your life because that power to choose is the only real power you have. Here's the good news. The power to choose is the foundation head of all possibility in your life. Reclaim that power and you can turn your life around. Unless it hurts, it's not real. Quick warning. It's very easy to just go through some sort of intellectual laundry list of the things that you should own up to. Everything that I've said prior to this point is very easy to intellectually compartmentalize and treat like some sort of academic information. Many people do a good job of lying to themselves because they just go down the list of all their screw-ups. At the end of the day, it doesn't change them. They intellectually accept these, but they don't develop a sense of emotional urgency. In other words, it doesn't cut close to home. Deep down inside, on an emotional level, there's still this hermetically sealed compartment in their mind about who truly is at fault. You can say to yourself that you allowed your father to harm you. You could say to yourself that you have allowed your mother to run your life and make you feel miserable. You can repeat that in your head like a mantra. But the problem is until it reaches on a deep and emotional level where you completely own it, nothing will change. There are so many people out there who have gone through psychiatric counseling who know their issues, but they refuse to change because whatever revelations that they have come across remain lists in their head. These truths must burn. How bad? You have to make a fool of yourself. You have to feel that you have let yourself down. You have to feel that you've really screwed yourself over. In other words, you have to stop running away from the impact of these emotions. Put simply, you have to do things that you have been fearing for all this time. The good news is, once it hurts, then you know that this laundry list of realizations is true. If it doesn't hurt, or it seems so glib or inconvenient that you're just playing mind games with yourself, you're just wasting your time. There's absolutely no detoxification happening. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.